Hello and welcome to my quick tutorial for setting up a Unity project with Git as your version control system. By following these steps and some basic Git best practices, you'll protect your work from being lost in case of a hardware failure and give yourself the flexibility to organize your code using branches. For this tutorial, you'll need to have Git installed on your computer. I'll leave this link in the description. I will also be using SourceTree as my preferred interface for Git. You can install this ahead of time if you want to follow along or use whatever Git toolset you're already comfortable with. In any case, the first thing you'll need is a GitHub account. There are other websites you could use, but since GitHub introduced free private repositories for all accounts, I wholeheartedly recommend them. Visit their website or click the link in the description and set up your new account. Once you're logged in, click Create a Repository or Start a Project to create the repository for your Unity game. This repository is your code's home away from home. As you make changes to your game locally on your computer, you'll push those changes to this remote repository so you never have to worry about losing your work. On the Create a Repository screen, go ahead and name your repo. I'll call mine Unity Git Tutorial. Enter a description if you want, then select Private. This way you'll be in charge of who can see your code. If you pick Public, people will be able to see any work you push up. Finally, click on the Add Git Ignore dropdown. Search for and click Unity. This will create a file within your repository that tells Git to ignore certain types of files that Unity creates that don't need to be tracked in source control. Click Create Repository and you'll be directed to your repo's GitHub page. The only file you should see so far is the gitignore that was created for us. Now we've created a place for our code to live up on github.com. The next step will be to clone this repository to our local machine so that we have a place to save our work in Unity that will be linked with our Git repository. Here on your repo page, click on Clone or Download and copy the URL that appears to your clipboard. Then open up SourceTree, or whatever tool you like to use to interface with Git, and click Clone. Paste your repository URL into the Source Path field, and you should be prompted to enter your GitHub credentials. Go ahead and do that, and then pick a place on your computer for your local copy of your repo to live. Provide an appropriate name for your local project and click Clone. After just a few seconds, we have our remote repository cloned locally to our machine, so it's time to create our Unity project. Open up Unity or Unity Hub and create a new project. Use whatever settings you like, but for the location, choose wherever you just cloned your repo. This should be the same folder where you see your gitignore file. Once your project has been created, head back to source tree. You should see a bunch of new files. These are files that Unity created for our project that are not specified in the gitignore file, meaning that we do want to track them in source control. As a quick note, there is one important setting that we should use in our Unity project when using source control. Click Edit, Project Settings, and check out the Asset Serialization mode. This should be set to Force Text, which is the default for newer versions of Unity. If you're hooking up an older project with Git, just double check this setting. Let's make our first push to our remote repository, effectively saving our work. In source tree, click Stage All. This means that we want to track every change made to all of the files that differ from the remote version of our code. Type in a helpful commit message. This should always explain the change you've made in your staged code. Don't leave this blank. If you ever need to revert some work that you've already pushed, it will be much harder to do so if you can't find the change you want to roll back. Once you have a message, click Commit. You just created your first commit, which is basically a chunk of changed code that is ready to be pushed to your remote repository. At this point, it still only exists locally on your machine. Click Push at the top of the window to send it off to your remote repo. At this point, your work is saved. If you head back to your GitHub repository page in a browser and refresh, you should now see your Unity project code. As you continue work on your game, I recommend that you commit and push often, and I mean really often, if you commit and push each tiny task or chunk of work you complete, you'll never be at risk of losing much progress and you'll be able to easily revert your code back to any state before you implemented a specific feature. Now, source control is a pretty huge topic and I just covered the very basics here. There are dozens of great tutorials already out there to teach you effective branching strategies and I'd really recommend you go check those out. If you have questions about what we just walked through, please leave a comment and I'll do my very best to respond. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.